ladies and gentlemen of the 118 scale 3.75 inch 4 inch modern action figure community I am back again and without further ado welcome back to the back alley uh, today we're going to be discussing as promised the jungle terror twin battle gun uh, this last week I did a video on the range viper but it ran a little long so i didn't get to the gun but here i am this week and uh hopefully we can make that happen for you so this uh cluster that i got going on down here is the parts of the actual gun so what we're going to do is we're going to put this thing together um this bottom part the base seems like it's already put together for me. I just have to put the rest of the things on. So this is pretty nice. I mean, the wheels look like they're they're hard plastic. They're not rubber, but they're solid. They don't have like the skeleton back there. And then it looks like a wheel here, but it's hollow back there. So that looks pretty cool. There you have that. All right, let's see what we do next. I don't want to do the wrong thing. Because sometimes you can't take this stuff apart. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go off camera for a little bit and put the first part on. So, it looks like we're putting this on here. I'm looking at these directions, and that's pretty much how it's got it going. So, then we'll put this on. All right, so I decided to spare uh, you guys the details and just go ahead and put this thing together. It's pretty simple. Um, the, the instructions pretty much tell you everything. It's only a, what, five-step process. So I'm sure you can teach a monkey to build this thing. But anyway, so let's have a look at it. Looks pretty cool. I'm not going to do the stickers. I'm not going to put any stickers on it. I'll save those for a later date. That's if I ever put them on there. So here's what you have. You have down here, you have these dials that makes these turrets spin. Remember, those are mini guns. Um, and if you're wondering, um, this is a good, uh, this is a, a good weapon and it does have a real world application. I don't think this is actually a real world uh, weapon, but there is something like it out there. And if you would like, stick around right here. I'll insert uh, just how crazy and insane the real world of this would be. Anyway, uh, moving right along, you have this uh, seat here. You have this uh, these handles, or I guess you could call them. Can you call them joysticks or handles, whatever? And um, this would be a screen you would put, I believe, that right here. Um, that could be it. No, actually, I think this goes right there looks like a little target awesome so like I said I'm not going to deal with the stickers today but pretty cool weapon 
Uh, Cobra is definitely going to hurt some some feelings with this. What do you think about it? Remember the wheels fold down to kind of make it like a stand. And it's a trailered weapon. So oh, this one doesn't have a hitch on the back. Let me get something with a hitch. All right, here's something with a hitch. Let's see how that would work. Oh, it has some kind of little locking system going on there. Won't seem to fit on there. Oh, well, you get it. That's what it would look like if it was being towed. Awesome. So, moving right along, um, don't cry for me, Argentina. The G.I. Joes will answer with this. I know it's a little dated, but I'm sure they could uh, make it happen with this. Pretty soon I got to do a video on some of the smaller uh, weapons that came with uh, that G.I. Joe produced and Hasbro produced. Um, this being one of them, really cool, especially if you were like a kid like I was who didn't have a lot of money, who didn't get a lot of um, toys. I did get a lot of toys, I just didn't get a lot of G.I. Joes and stuff. But if you didn't have a whole lot of money, little things like this was pretty cool. So that's for another day. But for now, what do you think about this? I think it's pretty cool, you know, spinning turret, um, fold down wheels, which makes it stationary. And try to get this. See, this should have been made so that you can actually, so that it's not molded, so that you can actually spin it around because this hinders him sitting down to sit in this thing. So, with that being said, I'm not even going to mess around with it. But in a perfect world, the Range Viper would sit in that. So, that definitely gets points off. For that. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, if you if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe. Got any questions or comments? Put it down below. I'll get to it at my earliest convenience. I appreciate all of you again, and uh we're gonna keep making these videos. I appreciate y'all. Alright, peace.